This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for October 6, as we celebrate the Feast of Saint Bruno's Day. Saint Bruno was a German saint who lived at the end of the 1000s. He was the founder of the Carthusian religious order. The Carthusian order is known for its intense penitential life. Saint Bruno was also well known during his lifetime for being a celebrated teacher. Saint Bruno was born in Cologne around the year 1030. Not much is known about his early life, but tradition says that he belonged to one of the leading families in the city. He studied theology in the city of Reims before he became a priest. After Bruno's education was finished, he returned to his home city of Cologne and was ordained a priest when he was around 25 years old. In 1056, Bruno's bishop sent him back to Reims to be the head of the Episcopal school. Bruno served as the head of the school for almost two decades. Under his leadership, the school continued in its prestigious reputation. During this time, Bruno also gained a reputation as an excellent theologian and philosopher. He taught many abbots and prelates, and one of his students would later become Pope Urban II. Bruno became the Chancellor of the Archdiocese of Reims. In this role, he assisted with the Archdiocese's administration duties. But Bruno had no desire to become a bishop. When he realized he was about to be made a bishop, he instead withdrew from public life to pursue monasticism. Bruno first attempted to join a group of hermits who would later become the Cistercians, but he soon realized that this was not his vocation. Then, Bruno and six of his companions went to the Bishop of Grenoble. The bishop sent them to an uninhabited place in the Lower Alps. There, Bruno and his companions built an oratory where they could live in isolation, poverty, prayer, and study. This group of men eventually became the Carthusian religious order. When Bruno's former pupil Oud of Châtelaine became Pope Urban II, he called Bruno to Rome in 1090 to assist him. Bruno's work in Rome during this time was largely hidden and confidential. He worked as an advisor and was privy to the Pope's private councils. When he was on the verge of being named Archbishop of Reggio Calabria, he attempted to withdraw from public life once again. He tried to rejoin his former companions, but the Pope kept him in Italy so he could call Bruno when needed. Near the turn of the century, Bruno's friends and companions began to die, starting with Pope Urban. Bruno himself died in 1101. After his death, Bruno's great knowledge and talents were celebrated by many. Those who knew him best praised him for his deep spirit of prayer, his extreme mortification, and his devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Saint Bruno's feast day is on October 6. Saint Bruno is the patron saint of Germany and of the Calabria region of southern Italy, so he is a great saint to seek intercession from if you live in one of these areas or are traveling there. Saint Bruno is also the patron saint of monastic fraternities and of the Carthusian order. You can ask for his prayers if you are discerning a monastic vocation, or for someone you know who is a monk. Since Saint Bruno's patronage also includes trademarks, you can seek his intercession if you work in a job that involves trademarks. Thank you.